Eight five hundred. Just did my mile run. Twenty pound uh, weight vest here. So now we're doing twenty rounds of five pull-ups, ten push-ups, fifteen air squats. I'm going to be counting these rounds. Special one today. Every two rounds, I'm going to pop a smelling salt packet. Whew, wake myself up. So got ten of these packets. Ten rounds of ten or two rounds uh, for every packet. So wish me luck. No one ever, ever prepares you for Murph. Shit's terrible. In a good way. It's real bad by yourself. A little mental toughness workout, so. Last round. 5, 10, 15. I got my last mile run, so. Have a look at how much suffering this is gonna be. There you go.
Alright. Round 20. Test building so Woo! That's my run. We're done. Alright, well. That's done. Solo Murph. Day 500. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done a workout. It made me question my uh, thought process in a long time. It seems like, because they're usually shorter. Uh, if you've ever, ever done Murph, you know it's a grinder. And it, uh, it hurts pretty much the whole time. And uh, geez, I thought all the push ups I've done over the last year and a half would have made these ones with the weight vest easier, but not so much. Because they were, they were pretty shitty. But uh, we got through them. Uh, luckily it's not super hot out because it would have been really miserable. I started getting the chills on the way back. At least my blood sugar is really crashing, so that's a good thing. After all the pizza and donuts I had this weekend. Um, well, I'll leave you, leave you with some quick thoughts about my uh, movement of the day and what I've been doing. Um, like I said, today's day 500 and I uh, wanted to make sure it was a tough workout. Um, I, I didn't do Murph yet this year, so it was good for me to do it. It's always more fun with people, I'll tell you that. Uh, by yourself is a, definitely a battle, a mental battle. And uh, I feel like you need to do things like that to yourself sometimes, actually fight that battle. And um, you know, having that, having that warfare in your brain uh, during a tough workout uh, and you persevere, um, you know, just makes everything better the rest of your life. So I believe that the people who who train, who are doing things physically, who are pushing themselves a little bit, uh, mentally are in better health than those who are not. And uh, if there's anybody you know who works out often and is still a, a depression case, you know, I think they're the exception to the rule because everybody I know who trains hard uh, and works out on a regular basis, uh, they have a better time coping with depression. Um, just burn off that negative energy. Right now, shit, I got no energy, so I can't be negative or positive. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I feel good now that the workout's over, but uh, I gotta wash this sweat out of my eyes. It's starting to burn, but uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'll do a little wrap about my uh, my thoughts on 500 days in straight. And I am one mulligan, and uh, you know, I feel like there's just a uh, it's an accomplishment. Uh, I wasn't really setting out to do 500, I just more or less started the ball rolling, and once that momentum's going. I mean, it's hard to stop it. Even when, even when it's like 12 at night, and you're like, fuck, I gotta do something. You know, there's always room for some push-ups, there's always room for some squats, a quick mile run, something. I mean, we make more excuses for the shit that goes on in our lives. It takes more effort to do that than it does to go out and do something and work towards what you wanna work towards. So uh, that's my takeaway. Just go do something. Stop fucking making excuses. So, uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me get this sweat out of my eyes. Uh, yeah, and um, I'd like to hear your comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, and give me a like. So, later.